Hi folks, so we're recording Barbell Session 2 now, okay? So today is going to be bench press and deadlifts, okay? They're going to be the main two movements, okay? So I'm going to show you the bench press first, okay? Always check the other bench in the center. First of all, you're going to lie back onto the bench and you're going to set up with your eyes directly under the barbell, okay? It's okay to be a little bit more forward, but just make sure that you're not going to catch the j hooks as you press the bar up, okay? The next part then is my feet, okay? So we don't want to see the feet out here because you just got to be loose to the course. You want to move your feet back to the under your knees or back a little bit more and squeeze up again. You might feel tight at first in this position, but over time you'll develop the flexibility to hold that. It's a much better position to bench press on, okay? Then you're going to set up your grip, okay? What we'll do for tomorrow, I'm going to experience, just set up um, with a grip you feel comfortable with. Not too close to the center of the bar, whereas a lot of beginners tend to make that mistake on a bit too close to the center of the bar. Um, I'm going to set up with baby finger right away in the mornings, okay? And we'll go just tomorrow then on the best um, position, hand position on the bar. You're going to lift off, moving the barbell so it's over your shoulders, okay? I don't want to see you bringing the barbell over your chest and most definitely not over your belly, okay? So over your shoulders. Then from here, you're going to bring the barbell down. Touch the chest, push back up over your shoulders, okay? Like squats yesterday, deep breath in before the barbell moves. And let the air, okay? Watch one more rep. And blow, okay? Then we're going to work it and come back, okay? And um, the dead is going to be under your Make sure come out here. So, the dead is going to be under your What we'll do is we're going to do six sets of six on this side of the bench. Now the, the deadlift is going to be three sets of six. So we'll we'll swap over when you're both on the um, the sets and reps. Okay. So for your deadlifts, what we're going to do is going to set the, the bar down on blocks. You're going to step in so that the barbell is over the your foot. What I'm actually going to uh, recommend us doing is just taking the jam hooks off when we're doing this, just in case your back catches. So I've set up the barbell directly over the middle of the foot. Common error is people set up too far away from the bar, so it's forward of the midfoot. You want the barbell directly over the loop um, in your laces on your arms, okay? From there, we're going to grip one hand over, one hand under. So I'm just not going to be thinking about that now, so I'm just gripping the bar. You can see I'm keeping the hands just inside the shins there. Then I'm going to just drop the hips ever so slightly so the shins come into the bar. Next part is the most important. The most important thing I'm going to get you to think about squeezing your chest through your arms, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze through. Megan's going to turn to the side there so that she can see my back angle. So before I squeeze the chest, I'm going to be kind of in a position like so, and I'm squeezing the chest through, I'm just kind of flatten the back, so the ball is slack at the bar, and then I'm dragging the bar up the legs, standing nice and tall. I'm going to just hinge the hips, just onto the floor, squeeze the chest through, and stand up nice and tall. Watch one more rep. Again, with all the barbell movements, with a deep breath in, before the barbell starts moving, okay? We can pause it now, Meg. Oh, sorry, that's forgotten. Okay, so then when we're finished on the bench and deadlifts, we're gonna set up for inverted rows. We're gonna leave the benches in the middle section, they'll, so they'll be easily put back for, for the guys who come in the next group, okay? So when you do the inverted row, we'll set the J hooks up on the outside of the rack, and we're gonna stand on the inside of the rack, okay? Two hands over the bar, Put your hands a little wide and show it. Ease back to where your arms are fully extended, and then you're going to pull through, squeezing the shoulder blades back and down, pausing for a second. You see the way I'm releasing back to the start position, nice and slow. Okay, so what have we got on the board there for those? They're going to be 3 by 10. When I'm done, so I will show you this all day to unwrap the bar, one hand over, one hand under, and then we're going to put it back against the bar. Okay? Then we're going to need to grab a high plate, so a 20 kilo plate for the elevated reverse lunge, okay? So I'm going to place it right here at the end of my rubber part. I'm going to hold on to a 10 kilo plate. I'm going to stand onto the, onto the, the step here I made. From there, then you're going to go back and down, okay? And then you're going to push up and forward 
to the wing gland, okay, so to the front gland. This one's going to be done when we got down the board. It's going to be over 60 side, okay? So again, I'm going to leave it on all the way down, making sure that the knee just very, very lightly kisses the floor before coming back up, okay? Really important to brace the core on this one. So deeper in before you start moving. Okay? And I'll be in good for a lot of us. Then after that, we're going to have a plenty overhead press, 3 by 20 So I'm going to show you this one really quickly. So you're going to hold the plate out front, you're going to press up over your head, and that's a couple of accessory movements we done today. We're going to keep them at high reps for three rounds. Then you're going to do a plate roll, roll sorry, to your belt the hips, your back nice and flat. You're going to pull the plate into your belly, pause it, we're going to lift it back down nice and slow. Okay, and this one will be done for 20 reps. Also, and the last one is going to be a curl, so you're going to hold the plate out front, you're going to curl up like a hammer curl, we do a dumbbell, and again, knees back down nice and slow, okay? Just let the forearm go slightly above the elbow joint before coming back down to a slight position, okay? And that was going to be done for those 20 reps as well, okay? And like yesterday, we then have a finisher to go into, that will be a combination of the conditioning and abs, like we done today, okay? See you all tomorrow.